recording record okay i think this is working we're unboxing this stuff we got this big box at home my wife was freaking out because another box from amazon right <laughs> so but anyways this is not just a box i got uh this is actually quite the opposite this is a something that someone sent me we're gonna find out today what it is so let's uh let's get going with this let's see let's see this is a massive box actually for what it is i don't know maybe what it is is that big it seems like a lot oh okay okay so ah <laughs> all right so here you go guys i don't know if you can see that but that's the wavo boom arm we're gonna unbox that in a sec here and on the bottom let's see careful now okay that's it so this right here i'm gonna show you a closer view in a second but this one right here is the joby weibo pod and it's a microphone so it's bigger than what i was expecting actually so yeah this looks like super heavy duty we'll see in a second so let me switch cameras right now and show you guys this stuff. This is the Joby Weibo Pod, and I'm recording directly to my computer, so my setup is pretty simple right here. I have my laptop, and this is connected via USB-C directly to my laptop, and also my camera right now is directly connected to my MacBook as well. I'm curious about how this sounds, actually, and I'm going to check in a second how this sounds. But overall, and I'm pretty happy about the whole arm and mic setup, not what I was expecting. I was expecting something even smaller, although in camera it looks small. 
it's not as small as I was expecting. The arm, of course, as you can see here, it extends the maximum right there. And I'm on the edge of that table, actually. It's a length of almost my entire arm up to here. I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think? How this sounds, actually. My concern is actually how this sounds, not so much the rest of the stuff. Audio quality for me is essential. So I'm going to check in a second. But first and foremost, overall thoughts about this is that this is pretty nice. By the way, if you click on the big knob right here, So I'm assuming that's canceling the audio right there. So we're going to see in a second. But the light turns red when you click on it. And, of course, below that, it has the pattern. It has a cardioid pattern, which goes like this, and the omnipolar pattern, which is all around. So meaning you can definitely set this up and set two people, one here, another one here, or you can use it to record the ambient. If you click on the pattern and you change that to omnipolar, it's gonna grab everything around it. It's a nice addition, I must say. And Joby, of course, you have seen that brand and they built uh, tripods, they built a bunch of gear for cameras, but they're getting into this market of audio products now if you get the boom arm which actually is advertised as you can put also a camera on it and i can see myself using something like that i'm gonna stop right here i'm gonna listen to it and i'm gonna tell you my opinion so just a second it's gonna be just a quick second for you for me it's gonna be a little bit but here we go i don't know i checked on it and it seems inconsistent, so I'm gonna be honest. This is what this channel is about, and I cannot lie to you. Even compared to my other microphones right here, like this one. This one's, I was expecting a poor quality at the beginning, but man, this sounds amazing, actually. And even compared to the Rode uh, pod mics and all these other mics, they have really good quality this one i don't know it feels weird when i listen here it seems a little bit inconsistent too i was expecting something a little bit better and they promise of course broadcast sound and they have the pop filter but i don't know i don't know i, I don't think it's there as far as audio quality you might get away with it for different setup i mean for a gaming setup okay so if you're not an audio producer okay we're talking about high quality standard of audio it's probably not there but if you're a gamer and you just need this to communicate with your team and just to have something that it's USB-C, you connect it to your uh, computer works right away which is what i'm doing here that kind of versatility plus the arm the arm it's pretty nice the whole setup is pretty nice and you want to have this kind of look as well if you do streaming yeah i mean it's not bad the problem for me is that this is only USB-C, and i'm used to work xlr and i connect my stuff xlr via either my roadcaster duo which i was expecting this to be xlr and USB-C. that's the trend we've been seeing now with these kind of microphones, they have both of them. So you have versatility on that side. So you can connect anything to it and you have all the possibilities for audio quality on that side. If this were XLR as well, I could have connected to my Rodecaster Duo and would have done some processing on the back end and probably would have sound a little bit better. But it, it feels a little bit inconsistent at moments. It feels like it sounds good and at moments it sounds kind of distorting. I don't know, maybe it's the volume. I'm not sure. The problem with this one is that it doesn't have an indicator of the volume, where it's going. So if it has a lead indicator showing you the volume level, that can be it. I don't know if I'm distorting or not at this point, 
but but yeah there's so many things that they can improve with this microphone still it's not bad joby but audio quality wise i don't know there's still some improvements that you guys need to do on that side at least for me first impressions of course the rest of the stuff boy they killed it uh, i don't have to temper too much with it because it worked right out of the box actually which is nice many of these arms you need to tweak it you need to adjust it too much this one was pretty much set it up and let's go and it feels it's super sturdy as well i can definitely trust this to put a camera on top of it is it a good investment maybe up to you guys it's up to you depending on what you want what you're trying to do with it and of course thank you joby for sending me this out again in full disclaimer they send me this out to review here in the channel but i need to be fully transparent and honest the audio quality is not precisely there for me at least i don't know maybe you're seeing this video and you're saying uh, this guy's super picky with audio it sounds good to me and I, that's the point if you feel that this sounds good enough for you to actually get it that's what i go by as well so if it works for you if it sounds good to you boy just get it i'm gonna be definitely doing more reviews like this ones on the channel and by the way remember if you're new to this channel consider subscribing hit like hit subscribe hit the bell so you don't miss any other video from us and yeah, see you in the next one.